As soon as I found out I was pregnant, I had decided I wanted to breastfeed. Um, and because I knew the benefits were going to help him. And more than anything as well, I was only working part time in retail. And I knew that I wasn't going to be able to financially help our household um, as well as I could, you know, working whatever hours. So I knew that breastfeeding is free and it's always available. And that was what I wanted to do. When they first put him on after I had, after I had him, I had a C-section and I couldn't feel anything. I think maybe they put the spinal block in a little too high and I couldn't feel anything. And I said, yeah, this feels fine. Feels great. And the more that we kept going, the more days we were there, it was really starting to be painful to the point where I looked like I was having cuts on my breast from him trying to feed. Um, and it wasn't until the discharge nurse for him came in and examined him and said, do you know he's tongue tied? Um, nobody had caught it. Nobody had said anything. I had to take him to an ENT when he was only a week old to get his tongue clipped and then they found out he was lip tied as well. So I had to get his, his lip um, clipped as well. After we got through that, um, initially I went back for a second visit and they said that the first tongue tie was anterior, but then he had developed a posterior tongue tie as well. So we needed a second tongue tie release. Um, and we had about a good month there that it was going well. I tried to reach out to different family members, um, my mother-in-law, my mom, but nobody had breastfed. My, so then I reached out to my friends and none of them had the same, like breastfeeding came very natural to them and they did not have the same issues that I did. So I kind of felt all alone for a while. Um, after the second tongue tie release, the ENT had suggested that I go to a lactation consultant so I went there um, once and um, she, you know, suggested that everything was going well, that um, he, you know, there was a good latch and, and everything, but I was also very sore still. And when she looked at me, she thought maybe I had thrush. So I had to be, <laughs> I had to go and get treated for that. And that's a dual thing. So if mom gets treated, so does baby. So we both had to go through that getting treated and it just wasn't getting any better. And she had given me two more rounds of medication to treat that. Um, by the time we realized that I did not have thrush, what actually was happening was I was having a reaction to the nursing pads that I was wearing. I just felt defeated. I absolutely did. I thought maybe I wasn't meant to breastfeed. Um, and it didn't stop there because unfortunately I ended up getting um, a clogged duct and I also got a milk bleb, which those hurt really bad. And again, I reached out to everybody that I knew, asked for some support, like, you know, what do I do? Nobody had these issues before, so I had to rely on Google to help me because at that point, my lactation consultant that I was seeing wasn't reaching back out to me. Um, I mean, my husband tried to be as supportive as he could, but he didn't know anything about breastfeeding so it was really hard and I felt very alone and very defeated. The first thing I actually tell any parent who's expecting is make sure your baby doesn't have a tongue tie. That would have helped immediately if I would have known right from the beginning he has a tongue tie and this is what we can do to help it. So that's always my biggest advice when it comes to breastfeeding if I hear that you know oh they're not latching quite right and I said, go to your pediatrician and ask if they have a tongue tie. Um, I make sure to give them that um, encouragement that they can do this. It's not easy. It doesn't come natural. No matter what anybody says, this was not a natural thing. Obviously, you know, we didn't quite get it right. But um, if it's something that the parents really want to do, I strongly suggest talking to their pediatrician find a great lactation consultant like the ones we have at our program, you know, at the cooperative and um, get that support behind them because it's out there. It doesn't matter how long you got to breastfeed. Those babies, you know, your baby got that antibody, they got the um, nutrients. And so you didn't make it a month. You made it three weeks. That's awesome. 
that's great work. And I look at that as great work now as instead of looking at it as defeated, non-successful. So I, I've totally flipped the script on myself and feel that if you make it any amount of time, that's awesome, that's great.